This is Cassie. And this is Jessie. And you are listening to Off Her Chops. Off Her Chops. Off Her Chops. Off Her Chops. Welcome to our darling pork chops. We're back. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome, Welcome back. back to our podcast. Off Her Chops. <laughs> Lovely to have you back on this fine day. Yes, we have no picture today, but today we do have a faux plant. <laughs> <laughs> a faux plant. <laughs> it's a little bit dusty too. Ooh. It is. I was just looking at that. That's a little bit unlike you. I didn't know that. I forgot. You're going to throw it out, aren't you? <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> it's a bit dirty. Um. Yes. Nice. Lovely, darling. Uh, I did have a little story to tell you. Hit me with it. Oh, gosh. I would say a couple of weeks ago, um, the Snooks and I, I'm pretty Snooks in the building. As always, Snooks, 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 Snooks. snooks, snooks, snooks. Uh, We went to Epcot, Mm. one of the Disney theme parks. Yes. For the little food and wine festival. I've always wanted to go to that. It is so good. So we have annual passes. Yep. And they expire, I think, in October. And we made the executive decision. Yep. To not renew since. Why? Uh, oh, baby will be here soon. Yeah, of course. No point. Nah. So we we uh, ex need that. So we said, okay, we'll go one more time. Yeah. Because food and wine is only like once a year, right? Exactly. Okay. And it, it's uh, there's only a couple of rides I can go on. So we get there, we do a, like a little, you know, kid ride, whatever, just so <laughs> I can do one final ride. <laughs> and uh, it was very hot that day. Mm. Yeah, because it the heat wave in Florida. What the hell? It's legit. There's what a the heat hell? advisory. What the hell? What the hell? There's a heat advisory yeah. every day. Yes. Um, I didn't realise that. I just knew it would be fucking hot. Right. So we put sunscreen on, had sunnies. We'll – little slip slop hat. Little slip slop hat. Slip slop hat action. <laughs> <Slip-slop>. <laughs> <laughs> and making sure we drink water. We're going through water bottles. Like yeah, crazy. you've got to stay hydrated. Epcot's pretty big. So we, we kind of do like a half circle eating all the food. Okay. The food was, I mean, it's so good. You really yeah. do have to go one I know, time. Well, I do want It's to. amazing. And it gets to maybe we've been walking for about an hour and a half at this point and I'm dripping with sweat. Yeah. And so is the snooks. We go into a little store, come out of it. I'm like, I'll just sit down. Snooks went to the bathroom. Yeah. The second I sat down in the shade, I got washed over with this like lightheaded, and I was weak. Oh, shit. And I'm still sweating in the freaking shade. Shit. And I can't sit still and I'm yeah. moving and I'm laying down. Do you down. feel like you're going to pass out? I do. Yeah. And I kept on moving and there was a family in front of me. This is just kind of like on the on the brick yeah. wall. Like yeah. There's no real chairs or anything. Yeah. And there's people all around me and I'm moving nonstop and I'm like, I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, where the hell is Snooks? And Snooks <laughs> comes back and this is his recollection. He goes, I come back Sorry, from Sorry, that was his what? Recollec- recollection. Oh, okay. Recollection. Is that the word? Re- yeah. Yeah. It sounded like he said, oh, oh, oh. recollection. <laughs> this is his recollection. Yeah. Um, it says that he was walking back and when he left me, there was nobody around me. And when he <gasps> came back, there was everyone around me, but nobody was helping me. And I was oh, shit. laying down with my eyes closed and my hands up like this, pumps the sky people, and just like, <gasps> oh, my gosh, <sighs> that's so scary for you. And I have bumps, so you can tell I'm pregnant. Okay. And he comes over and he grabs me and he's like, are you okay? And I got, and I looked at him like I was possessed. <laughs> I opened my eyes and he's in front of me and I said, I need to go inside. <laughs> And I need to sit in some air conditioning. Yeah. And he goes, okay. So we went inside the store. Luckily there was a table all the way at the end. I sat down and I just like, I just need a second. And I had never had that happen before. It was very scary. Yeah. Um, sat there for a couple of minutes. I was like, okay, no, I feel better. Got up, was able to finish the park. Yeah. Um, finish the, the food. It didn't make me nauseous or anything. Yeah. Uh, we walked back to the car. By the time we get home, I was just exhausted. I think I slept like 12 hours that night because I was just done of for. Of course. I think the thing I didn't realise is I know overheating is an issue when you're pregnant. I think adding the Florida heat yeah, is another level on top of it. Yeah. It's just insane right now. Yeah. Um, and then also getting out of breath quicker. Oh, yeah. 
And, and it, it'll and only get worse too. Walking, like not walking for four hours would have been a smart idea. <laughs> and it, and like I said, it's only going to get yeah. worse. I mean, I struggle to sleep now. I roll over. I have like my fort that I yes. sleep in. Yes. And it's like I said, it's only going to get yeah. bigger and yeah. more uncomfortable. Yeah. Did you ever experience over, I know you experienced overheating on the plane. Was that overheating? I almost passed out on the a bunch of times. Yeah. Not, not just on the flight. Um, at your nail salon. Like yes. you, you, these were random places. Yes. yes. Um, and Roddy had to come get you and, yeah. and help and stuff. It's, yeah. it's quite scary. Oh, my God, that one. Yeah, no, the first time it happened to me, I was at the nail salon, but I was with him. We were getting pedicures, mm. feet in hot water. I overheated. Mm. I didn't know what was happening at that time. But, yes, the one time that it happened at my nail salon, I overheated in the ladies' room. My nails went. I think. I think I need to. S- I was already sitting down, but I was uncomfortable, so I, I I stood up and she was doing my nails. It's like I think I need to like go and sit down. And I don't know if she didn't hear me or she just thought she, maybe she could finish this nail or Real something. But I was yeah. like, no, I've I've got to go. And then it, um, and then even like she's still doing my nails, and for some reason I'm not pulling my nail away. And I that they've got high tables, and I crouch down so my I'm crouched down, and my hand is still up here. And she's still, <laughs> still doing my nails, and then all of a sudden I was like, I got to go. So I stand up, and she's and now she realizes that I'm talking to her, yes, yeah. and I take my hand away, and I turn around, and I vomit all over the floor. And there's clients there, everyone's there. Thankfully, I didn't get anyone. Vomit oh. everywhere. So I need. I told you I needed to go to go oh. somewhere. That happened twice at the same salon. And not the throw up, but the one time I was like, I have to go lay down. She like took me into the facial room. She, then she went out to bloody 7-Eleven and got me apple juice. Oh, gosh. Thank <laughs> God you're around people that would I know, help you. Hey, I know. Is that scary? Yeah. You, you, and I feel like, like I was fine, but the second I sat down, yeah. it all hit me. Yeah. And I feel like it's been like that because even like I, I had a hot shower. I love hot shower. You know so I mean? do I. You got to be careful though when you're preggers. You do. Mm. And I didn't realize that I had a hot shower, not for very long, but I, I came out and um, I was standing up in the kitchen and I and I looked at Snooks and I said, oh, I need to sit down. I think I just overheated. Mm. And it, it just happens kind yeah, of when you least expect it. It comes on, yeah, it comes on quickly. Yeah, it's very crazy. Yeah. And I have noticed like I'll be sitting down. Yeah. Calm. Yeah. Cool, calm and collected. <laughs> and I'm out of breath. Yes. I, I'm like, huh? wait, wait till you start talking and you have to take a breath between each word. It's wild. It is. One time oh. like towards the end of my pregnancy, I think when I was sick, um, I got the flu, of course, oh. right at the end of my pregnancy. So I went to um, get an IV mm-hmm. and they took my resting heart rate. And you know me, I'm scared of needles. Yeah. So my anxiety <laughs> a little bit is, you know, high. And so she takes my resting heart rate. She doesn't say anything to me, but then she like, for some reason they have to FaceTime the doctor before they, I don't know, a little bit oh, strange. Okay. Yeah. So she's there with me and she's FaceTiming the doctor. And I overhear the doctor say, okay, and what was the heart rate? And I don't remember what it was, but she said it. And then it kind of went silent for a little bit. And then the the nurse says, um, she's heavily pregnant and she's scared of needles. And the doctor was like, oh, okay, that makes <laughs> sense. That explains. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and then I was like, oh my God, that's what she said was my resting heart rate. I want to say it was like in the 90s. Mm. Resting. Shit. Because yours was, mine's like naturally like 40 or something. 40 is very, very low. Very low. Yeah. Mine is certainly not 40. You know, I, I feel like whenever I get it done, it's always been like 42 or like 44 or something. And they always check it again. That's, yeah, almost dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, that's just, wild. Yeah. I don't know. That's correct. Yeah. So there's just so many things that I'm I'm experiencing. And thank goodness you've already gone through it. So I can be like, hey, is this normal? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I do. didn't really have someone like I had Google. Yeah. <laughs> what to do yeah. when you Because <laughs> it can get a little bit scary. And then obviously Snooks doesn't know what to do. He, yeah. He's like, sit down. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> thank you, Snooky. <laughs> he does give good foot rubs. Shout out to Snooks. <laughs> yeah. You, the you could make money off of that. <laughs> I know. Maybe film that. Speaking of foot rubs. <laughs> Guys, we've got to talk about Brand Army. I know. We still have Brand Army. We Why still have it? our exclusive content yep. website. Yeah. That, and we haven't plugged it in a while. No. And I thought, no, fuck it. We're going to plug it. And we're going to plug it hard to you guys because <laughs> let me tell you something right now. We put a lot of effort into those pages. Yes, we do. And we've had, we've been on this platform for what? This is our second, it's like two years, right? Yeah, October. We're going on our second. Yeah. yeah. And the amount of, Photo shoots and, and not just photo shoots, but content yeah. and planning. People don't yeah. realize how much we plan out. Like we're right. very specific in what we want to present. Yeah. So we plan out everything, all yeah. the content that we film yeah. and, and shoot. Yeah. And 
scheduling that and yeah. making sure it's good for our subscribers. Like we really do yeah. want to provide that that best content. And then even like just responding to DMs can be very difficult it, sometimes. It, they like stack up. They, yep. they stack up and it's like, oh my gosh, I like I have to find time to respond. <laughs> I always do, but it's obviously much harder now with baby and I only have yep. a certain amount of time. But, but, um, but you, you still but want I to make do. yourself available. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For sure. So I just want to plug plug those uh, yeah. Brand Army pages. Um, what is your Brand Army page? It's, uh, well, it's, <laughs> sorry, I just blanked out. <laughs> it's um, uh, jessiemckayworld.com. Sorry, I just literally, I had Brand Army in my head and I'm like, that's not part of what? <laughs> jessiemckayworld.com. And Cassie's is? CassieLeeWorld.com. <laughs> and I would just love it because I, w- I, won't lo- I won't lie since I announced your pregnancy that it's taken a dip. Well, mine did the same thing. But I will you know? say when it popped out popped baby, that it was spiked right Can't back up. Can't go back up. We've had a dip, dive and a roll in my brand army. I, yeah. would, I would like to encourage <laughs> people to resubscribe um, because I stacked up a lot of content. Yeah. Pre, well, I was pregnant. I was pre-bump. three months, three pre-bump. months pre, pre-bump, that's it. Um, I sucked up a lot of good content and I'm still doing daily, you know, life updates and um, obviously responding to DMs and stuff yeah. like that. So help me help you <laughs> and just fucking subscribe, okay? Because <laughs> mama's got to feed the baby. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Good. I'm glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> How did we get onto that? Foot rubs. Foot rubs. Yes. 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 Um, classic. <laughs> classic foot rub. Highly requested. You ask the questions and we give you the answers. It is time for the questions of the week. So in today's episode, yeah, we thought we'd bring back uh, the Q&A. We haven't done one in a while and it's because we've been saving them up. Yes. So we have a stack to, to go through. The, so this is going to be a, a modge podge of hodgepodge. Hodgepodge? Hodge, I say hodgepodge. I thought you said modge podge. No, nah, hodgepodge, mate. Oh, okay. You say modge podge, I'll say I hodgepodge. Sure. A, yeah. po- a modge podge. Hodgepodge. hodgepodge. Yep. <laughs> of questions. <laughs> um, so we have asked, I think it was on our Instagram pages. Yep. Um, we, we asked for questions because, yeah, like I said, it's been a long while. So we've got a bunch in our little piggy. And uh, today's <laughs> episode, we're just going to be Did answering those pork chops questions. questions. Yeah. You want to go first or let me go first? You think? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Snook, I don't care. <laughs> Snook's also um, chose a lot of these questions, so a lot of them will be unbeknownst. Oh, there you go. She's used a sentence word. Can I ask, did we leave you time to enter the – You the, asked the questions. <laughs> <and> we <laughs> give me the answers. <laughs> okay, perfect. Awesome. I just wanted to make sure. Um, so we won't know most of these questions. Good. Which is nice. Which is nice. <laughs> uh, this one is from Dr. Jonathan Murray. Dr. Jonathan Murray. Which celebrity, if you were to meet, would cause you to fangirl the most? Celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> celebrity? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think. There are so many of them. Do you have an answer? Um, I do. Well, my biggest one, I've already experienced the it rock. with The Rock. Yeah. So I, I don't want to say that because yeah. I, I did fangirl out and cry. Yes. Um, I would say, I'd probably say um, I'm very big on Jennifer Lawrence right now. Okay. So she's always one that I would like. I think She'd we, be such a good friend. I think we would hit it off with her. Oh, yeah. I always well, think her and Florence Pugh. Okay. Like, that's a good. That's a good fucking group right there. Okay. Like we would all get along great. Yeah, cool. Love Florence as well. Um, but uh, just going back from my childhood, I had to say Orlando Bloom. Oh, okay. Orlando Bloom was my first like celebrity crush. Yeah. Um. Yeah, follow you on Instagram, Orlando. Just oh. you want to catch up for a coffee, mate? Let me know. <laughs> um. Gosh, I don't know. I want to just say like maybe Sandra Bullock. Yeah, that'd be a good conversation. Wouldn't that be fun to meet her? It'd be so fun to meet her. I probably wouldn't know what to say and therefore fangirl. And therefore, yep, yep. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> um, I feel like I would also maybe freak out if I met like Channing Tatum or someone like yeah. that. To be honest, any celebrity that 
we love, which there are so yeah, many. Yeah, that's what that, and that's I why I reacted girl. that way. I was like, how can I pick just one? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot that I would be like freaking out on the inside, but on the inside, yes, I wouldn't make myself no a because fool. we know how to be social. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sometimes, yeah, we'd be freaking out on the inside. Hey, how you going? Yeah, on cool, the come collected on the outside. Yeah, go, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Look at us getting through the question <laughs> too. <laughs> this is from Jack Vasu. I think I said, I said that right, Jack. You know what? Jack is actually on my um, brand army. Oh, well, thank you, fucking Jack. <laughs> thank you, Jack. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> what is your favourite moments with the live events in Europe? Europe. In Europe? Gosh, this I, is hard to choose from. Do you have one that you I, always I go to? I think the rowboat with I, Lana I, was in Europe. That's what I was going to say. It was a rowboat in Europe. I, I think, think it was. Yeah. It, that was the big tour and every yes. night we'd have, yeah. I think so. I mean, you can't go past the rowboat no. story. Do you want to exp- yeah. for anyone who's missed that story? Pork chops, uh, the European tour, gosh, the, this was the one where we were on the road for like 21 days. It was a, yeah, it was a, this long, was a long stretch. A long stretch. Um, and we love the new day. Uh, so specifically uh, Big E yeah, he and would entertain us. the Iconics would put up challenges each night, little little challenges that you had to do and if you did it, you got a point. Yeah, and and one either he would win that night or we would win that night. Exactly. And there was a possibility for bonus points if you impressed them. There the was. Other, the other person. Yes. Uh, one time we said, what did we say to He had a couple of good ones. I think we said he had to like slow dance with Kofi in the ring. One time, and he grabbed yes, you, you're right? Yeah, yes. and it's like fun, fun stuff like that. And yeah. they could do it in the entrance or in the match. Yes. And he said, one night, I want to see a rowboat. I want to see a rowboat. And we, but said, he didn't give us like you know how to do it. He no. wanted to see what our adaption of the rowboat would be. Exactly. So we said challenge accepted. accepted. We and got your number. We did a tag team match. Uh, obviously, it was with Lana. I don't know who her partner was. I can't remember that part of it. I don't know. Yeah. I just remember Lana being like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> so we, I think, was it? I think I snap made her right. I put her down and I tagged you in. No, because I, I pinned her after it, so, so I was illegal. behind her. So I, I snap made her. But you would have had to tag me. Yes. In. I don't know. So I don't know. Okay, what I don't know who was legal. One of us put put Lana down, and she's sitting on her ass in yeah. the ring. Yeah. One of us tag each other in. And I remember both of us said rowboat. <laughs> you were behind her. You yeah, sat, I was. You fucking scooted in behind her. I had to get down on the mat and scoot in between her legs, back it up. <laughs> and then her and I, and, and I remember looking back at her. She's like, what's, she goes, what do you, what do you need, guys? What, she, do, I, she, what, what do, do I do? <laughs> and I looked back at her and I said, <laughs> I said, just sell. <laughs> You and I proceeded to get our hands and do a fucking rowboat. <laughs> and then just to make it wrestling, we capped it off with a pin. Yes. But holy shit. It was oh my God. dying of laughter. Yes. Um, we came back. He was hysterical. He was like, I didn't think you were going to do it with her. I just thought you two would do it. So a I rowboat. think we got bonus points for incorporating that someone done. else. Yes. Because yes. you typically got bonus points if you incorporated someone who didn't know what was going on. Which, so he would try and do it with Kofi and, the and Woods. Yep. Oh, my gosh. I miss those times. That tour was so fun. And and because they're long and yeah, you got to find beat up fun. and stuff. Like I will say the New Day was such a light for oh us. Oh, my gosh. Because we, we could have fun and joke around. Yeah. So they definitely made those tours um, – Fun. Fun. They got you through it. And just it. go quicker and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yes. That was always a good time. We yeah. still talk about that with, with E to I this know. day. He's, he's I so fucking sweet. wish there was a picture or <laughs> yeah, some, some footage some <laughs> somewhere, but no one knew it was coming. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, gosh. Bless his heart. Shout out to Big E. We miss yeah, you. We love you. We do. Next question. This one is from Katie Fenton. He's my friend. Hey, okay, Katie. Snoogie. <laughs> Snoogie. Slip it in one this. Katie's my friend from acting class and she came to Australia with me for the first time. Loved Australia. Yes. Huge fan. She, Good. She wants to go back. I said, well, it's a long trip. So. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Is there a wrestling move you wish you would have done but never did? I know we joke about. What, doing a Spanish fly? Doing a Spanish fly <laughs> or like, you know, we never did anything crazy. anything crazy in our career. I will say I, I do wish I could do like. Not even anything off the top rope crazy, but maybe just like a standing moonsault or like something <laughs> yeah. like 
and flashy Impressive. and athletic, but no, <laughs> but not like I'm going to kill myself this, on it. Yeah, do you know no, what I mean? Like sure. something practical. I do. I do wish that I had taken some more risks. Yeah. With my maneuver set, but I think like people who we respect really kind of taught us like don't take risks, like yeah. tell stories exactly. and make them exciting and have a long career. Yeah. And, and I take that very seriously, but I do, I do wish that, but I also was like so scared of heights. So I'm like, yeah. I don't know how, like I'm trying to get as creative as I can on the mat. <laughs> right. There's only so much you can yeah. do. So I'm like, let me do a flip real quick. <laughs> yeah. Great question. Thank you, Katie. Do a double moonsault, both of us. Double standing moonsault. Just flatten the fuck out of them. <laughs> I can do one. I just am too scared yeah, you to do did. it off the crash pad. And that's the thing. It's not just it's it's not just learning a move, right? It's doing it safely. And then obviously you do it on the, match. on the crash pad and then transferring it to a wrestling ring, which is different. But it's doing it a hundred times out of a hundred times. And perfect. when you're blown up and you're sweaty and there's and a your, crowd. Your foot slips. Yes. And like there's so many variables. So much that can you, go you have to do it. Perfect. And even the most athletic people get fucked yes. up because of something yeah. that they can't control. Yeah, exactly. Which is what. So we, we try to, to take out the. Take out that control. aspect. Yeah. Killer Cass asks How was the Blended Fest and you two meeting Little John? We never <laughs> got that story. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That was August. That was two years ago. I was about to say that was 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was like the first thing that we did right it after was. we got after our like ninety yes. days were up from yes. WWE. Yeah, I mean the festival was fun. I'm not a big festival person. No. I'll be honest. No, I don't. That's not fun to me. No, but this was fun because but, it was nice to just. I think it was being with you and yes. we we're in Nashville. Yes, and we were having a couple of drinky poos. Yeah, <laughs> and we judged that cooking contest. Yeah, that, <laughs> like, that little cooking contest. And we were backstage and yeah. meeting people. So yeah. I do think it was it was fun. I just remember. <laughs> Steve, fucking Steve, our manager, shout out to Steve, saying, yeah, 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 we'll go, we'll go meet him. And I remember him, Steve walked into the room and we're standing there. Oh, it was so awkward. In the doorway, like fucking chumps. Yeah, and chumps. No one knows who we are. No one even acknowledged that we had walked into the room. Nothing. And I'm, we're, us three, we're standing there in this room in the corner for, I want to say. this is a small room. Exactly. And this is someone's. Uh, like sweet, sweet. Almost. This isn't. We're not supposed to be there. No. And um, we're sitting there. I want to say for a good two minutes because I was fucking mortified. And I said, <laughs> Steve, let's go. And he's like, No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Eventually, we do get to meet little John. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fun. Like that's a fun moment to have. Yeah. You know. I'm glad we got that. Pick. Um. And I'm glad we got the pick and we got to meet him and stuff like that. It was just the lead up was fucking awkward. It, and even <laughs> meeting him was awkward. It's yeah. like, Hello, nice to meet you. It's, what do you Can say? I please get a photo. Right? Okay, I'll fuck off now. Like because also just, yeah. it was like, oh, little John's here. Like, do you want to go meet him? This is like earlier in the day. And yeah. we were like, yeah, sure. Like, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, it's free. And then it was like, okay, wait in this room and we'll go see where he is. And it's like, okay, come next to the next room. We're like, we don't have to meet him. Like, yeah. it's totally cool. We, it's can go, we can go back and do what we exactly. were doing. Yeah. But Steve was gung-ho on us meeting little John. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah. It worked out. I will say um, the Blended Festival, I think my favourite thing was seeing fucking Ludacris. Ludacris on killed stage. it. Oh my god, he was so good. Me, you and Ronnie were like, and <laughs> he, and I didn't realize how many songs that he has like he's been in. He's been in aside yeah. from his own songs, like those like hits, those bangers. Yeah, Dang. that was Chris. such a good concert. Yeah, so I'm glad we oh, we went to that. Yeah. yeah, would I do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think they're doing those anymore. No, I feel like they stopped them. I don't think they got. Turn out the revenue. Or all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. This is from hmm, I'm so sorry <laughs> if I mispronounce this. Hmm. What, uh, Fang. Fang. <laughs> that's P H that's Peter H. Also from my brand army. His Peter. name's Peter. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's his first name. So Peter Hang? Is that I'm his not last sure. name? Okay. Sorry, oh, Peter. Peter H, that makes sense. Yeah. But Peter H twenty three. <laughs> Any pros or cons from taking a break from wrestling? Both, I would say. Massive ones. Yeah. I think the, the biggest con is money. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't be bougie anymore. <laughs> We've had and this I conversation. I miss being bougie. I, you know, we, we were talking about this before and, and Cass said, I miss being bougie. I said, me too. 
And I said, I feel like we're in the help me up poor <laughs> stages of our lives right now. We're just like burying ourselves. <laughs> just, you know, brain dummies <laughs> dwindling. <laughs> Please help me and subscribe. <laughs> it's just a big jump. I think no one really talks about the financial side of it. And I will say me and you, you know, we we, we struggled in Australia. Like yeah, we, we, were we both had poor. three jobs and yeah. couldn't fill our car up with yeah. fucking I co- gas. I couldn't get my own eyebrows waxed. I had but, to pay, do my own waxing eyebrows. You know, we put, and then the money that we did get, we put it all towards wrestling yeah. gear and, and all that kind of stuff. So we, we didn't have money. And then, you know, in NXT, that was the early days. You're not, you're not making much. You're no. making a, a wage, but you're not making yeah. much. You know, it wasn't until the main roster that you, you kind of skyrocket. And yeah. and it can be, it's a shock because you're like, holy shit. Mm. You know, and you, unless you've been taught, you know, to save your money and invest it, yeah. it can kind of go both ways. And then when you lose it all of a sudden, that's like, a shock like too. You, you lose the income. Yeah. Yeah. With the release and stuff like yeah. that. So it's, it's, um, it's a big wave of... Yeah. Figuring out. It's just adjusting. It's adjusting, yeah. yeah. But we were smart. We were very smart. We saved a shit ton um, and we had some good opportunities afterwards yeah, which we, we capitalised sure. on. Um, but I think, yeah, just save and invest as much as you can just because you never know. Mm-hmm. We always knew wrestling would, would stop at one point. Yeah, but it wasn't going to be forever. It wasn't when And that's what we were expected. preparing for too. Exactly. It just came unexpectedly. Um, the so pros. Yep. Um, the pros would be I'm I'm not sore. I had a Most baby. Most of the time. Yeah, Your exactly. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like um, when you're in the wrestling bubble. Yeah, it's a bubble for sure. It's a fucking bubble. When yeah. you pop that and you're out, yeah. you experience. The whole world opens life. up. <laughs> life. Life, yeah. Life. And yeah. the biggest thing you can do in life, you had a baby. I did. Start right? a family. Like that's a beautiful thing. So I de- that would be definitely yeah a, the biggest pro. Yeah. Okay. Danielle Nichols asks, what is your favourite TV series at the moment? Ooh. God, I watch so much. Let me just try and think. I always forget. I haven't watched this yet, but I'm, I want to. I don't know if you have. I th- what's it called? Murders in the Building or something? Only Murders in the Building. Only Murders in the, have you watched it? Yes, very and, good. Okay, yeah, because it's star-studded, yeah. so I assumed it would be. Uh, watch the first two seasons. Yeah. Yeah, and then the third season just dropped. Okay, that's what I've been seeing all the ads for. Yeah, Meryl Streep's in that. I fucking She's love Meryl Streep. so good. She's probably my favourite. Actress. actress of all time, yeah. Ronnie's really cute. Whenever I'm off to acting class, he's like, go on, my little Meryl Streep. <laughs> oh, I love her. Oh, gosh, she's, she's amazing. Good. And she's so good at in this too. She plays a role that I've never seen her in and I'm like, damn. Yeah, okay, I'm really going to have to watch it. Yeah, um, but I'm watching that too. That's really good. Yeah. Um, so what else are we watching? We've watched a bunch of good stuff lately. What just finished? Succession finished. Mayans just finished the series finale. Um, I think Ronnie might like that show. I think Mayans. he watches it. Yeah, that's or a good has one watched for him. It. A um, couple of good ones. A couple of good ones coming out too later in the year. Uh, we did uh, what? Uh, Secret Invasion? Was it, no, Secret Wars. The Disney one. That was a little bit, a little bit done. Anyway, <laughs> what? Okay, I didn't answer. Oh, you said. Oh no, I thought you said only money in the building. No, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, okay, yeah. But I, I don't have much time to watch TV. So when I finally get Austin down and I sit down on the couch, I put on Love Island, which I'm obsessed with. I mean. You can't go Obsessed. past a good reality show. No. Like I still watch Project And I love Mario. that it's like 50, 60 episodes and I can oh, just so binge it for fucking weeks. So <laughs> That's a very uh, cult following. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. People will get into And there's that. a new um, US season out, which I'm looking forward to starting Ooh. when this one's over. Okay. And you still watch The Bachelor and all that? No. No, you stopped watching that? I knew I wanted to stop watching that a couple of seasons ago, but then my mum came here. She's like, let's watch The Bachelor. And I was like, okay, well, I'll watch it with you. Okay. Oh, yeah. The only reason I watch it is because I like, I prefer Bachelor in Paradise, but everyone from Bachelor is on that. So it's like, it's like the that's best how the you best. know. No, it's just like people, okay. random people. Um, but yeah, no, I'll probably watch that when it comes out, but not The Bachelor. I'm just, huh. it's just, You're I'm just it. so over it. Yeah. It's not good anymore. You've grown out of it. I have grown out of it. This is from Christian Baltimore. Mm. Favorite Taylor Swift song? You don't like the T Swift, do you? Um, it's not that I don't like the T Swift. I'm just not like. I feel like you're either like the biggest Taylor Swift fan, like, mm. or you're not. Do you not? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just not yeah. like you know. Sh- I'm. 
I don't know. Yeah, you don't care about her. I like love story. <laughs> I'd care about her. Well, yeah, I mean, like, and a, like if yeah. her song comes on the radio, I'll sing it. Yeah, yeah. I'll sing along. But you, I'm, you know her songs. But too, I'm yeah. not like, can't wait for Taylor Swift to come out. I'm going to go on the Eras tour and I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to pay thousands of dollars for a ticket. I'm just not going to do that. I'm the same. Yeah. I, I feel lo- like you are a big Taylor well, Swift. Well, I love her. I love her okay. music, but like, I'm not. Like I wouldn't go You're to Miami to go to a concert. Yeah, being yeah. around that many people, you fucking oh God, joking no. me, mate? No, um, no. But yeah, I do. F- favorite song though, I love "You Belong with Me." Um, and then also "Lover." Don't know that one. Another one. Oh, I like her good so classic good. teardrops on my guitar too. Yeah, the old school first one I ever yeah. heard. Yeah, she's good. Shout out Taylor Swift. <laughs> Subscribe to my bro, no, Taylor. <laughs> 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 My turn. She, I saw she tipped her drivers, the truck drivers, like a hundred thousand dollars each. I saw in every city she's in, she's donating like enough food to feed five hundred thousand families for like a year or something. I mean, you can't go past. No, that, that's that, a good person. Like she does, and she is very vocal about like women's rights and yes. in politics and everything. Yes. Like, yeah, she. Well, I love Taylor Swift as a person. As a, yeah, she's yeah. she's doing good. She's very talented. Um, this is from Anthony Barr underscore ninety nine. Who has been your favorite person or team to wrestle? And what has been your favourite gear? Favourite person or team to wrestle and favourite gear? Classic question. (laughs) I have to say um, I feel like my gears, I feel like they're sentimental in why I like them. Yeah, I don't really like them. It's just tough because I feel like I was so, like that's when I was gaining weight and stuff to get try and get my my period. Yeah. Um, So I was like. I just didn't feel comfortable yeah. being in gear, yeah. and it wasn't until I lost that weight where when we split, yeah, that I felt comfortable in my yeah. gear, yeah. and that was like the sparkly, yeah. the sequin Two shorts and the top with like yeah. the little armband. So I definitely think that style of gear was my favorite, just because yeah. I felt yeah comfortable. Yeah, um, I mean that little neon orange and pink number that we had in NXT was pretty fun <laughs> too. I still have that. <laughs> still have uh, that too. Um, okay, I've got an answer for favourite gear. It would be, okay, it's a toss-up between our flame gear at Impact and our Britney oh, gear at Impact. Oh I feel God. like that Impact gear was on point. my favourite. F- okay, I'm so sorry. I For some reason, I I don't know why I just thought. No, I did too, and then it just clicked. I was like, no, I loved our Impact stuff. All of our Impact stuff, yes. except maybe the first one, just didn't come out yeah, right, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately. But yeah, our flame, our black and white. Um, yeah, our, I love the black and white, the red. red. Yes. And then Slave You. Like yes. we had some fucking good looks. We did. Yeah, that's definitely – I think we can just call that the Britney era. So all the Britney era gears yes. are just – Yeah. Yeah, that was fun to, to create too. Yeah. Um, gosh, favourite tag team? Person or team. It's kind of hard to Person answer because team. I feel like in WWE like – Women's like the tags for women's were just they weren't really tag teams, so it was just like two people kind of put together when together, we were there at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did always love wrestling Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, yeah. Um, tag teams. Um, and I love wrestling Oscar individually. I mean, Oscar's always going to be a good one. Sorry, the chairs creaking. Um, <clears throat> and also every superstar wrestler that we we went up against they're all so different like yeah. they have their their nuances and stuff yeah. so it's hard to compare you can't compare apples to oranges no you, you know cannot I mean? you can um, but i definitely think Oscar would be <clears throat> up there just because we we always used to have so much fun with her yeah but also she was i don't know she i feel like she understood us the most which is very interesting because yeah, there's a language no, barrier that's true but I she would that. always come up with spots yeah. For us to do character yeah. stuff, yeah, which she, was nice. Uh, she, what I love about Oscar is she's not selfish. And she don't give a shit who's winning or losing. No. She don't care. Yeah. Yeah, that was always fun. And then also my stuff with the Riot Squad oh, yeah, on SmackDown course. would is always going to be like my favourite because yeah. Liv and Ruby were just sweethearts and we were just having fun, the best time and it was fun. So that's probably another, another yeah. good time that too. definitely got cut short. Yep, because I got fired. (laughs) (laughs) Next question. Derek Barrera. Barrera. Derek Barrera. Sorry, sorry, Derek. Can we talk about the teaser pics Jess posted a year ago? What's all that about? I'm going to assume it was for – No, I hadn't done anything acting-wise by then. Was it like headshots or something? It was a headshot, Yeah. 
I can't remember. Uh, what is it, August? Yeah, I got a headshot done last August. Maybe it was just a headshot. Yeah. Yeah. That's just sorry. me Let me a little over. bit more specific. Yeah, sorry oh, about that, mate. Sorry, dude. Nath Moth. <laughs> I don't know why that was. No, <laughs> that's Aussie eight. No, hey Nathan. <laughs> what does he say? Um, hey, you're, you're a ticket or yeah. something. You're a ticket. No, you're fucking. You're right, mate. <laughs> no, you're a fucking ticket. <laughs> What's that? No, you're fucking right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, Nathan. You're a fucking ticket. <laughs> what was, uh, was that bad boy? The show. Did no, I, what was, was it? Boys? Angry, Angry boys. boys. Angry Boys. Lord what was the show. other one he did? Oh, High School, Summer, oh, Summer Heights Summer High. Summer Heights High. Very funny oh, show. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Okay, anyway, Nath, Ma- <laughs> Nath Moff says, what advice, Cass, would you give Jess about the first year of motherhood? Ooh, good question. I love this because I feel like I don't like to give unsolicited advice, but yep. since you're asking, Nath, <laughs> I'm going to give it to her. She's got a list. <laughs> no, just one thing that I think is um, – Important, my advice to you is don't expect anything of yourself or your baby. Oh, nice, yeah. If you expect to rock your baby to sleep and in 15 minutes he's going to go down and he's going to go to sleep and you're going to go to sleep and that doesn't happen and you're going to be like exhausted because you are, Mm -hmm you're going to get disappointed. But if you don't have an expectation of when he's going to go to sleep, he has to go to sleep at some point. Yeah. That's just an example. But if you don't expect anything of yourself either in that, I like, I wish I had done this better as his mum, or had done this better. I wish I'd thought of this earlier. I wish I knew what the temper, like just don't, because then you get down on yourself. And when you're going through postpartum and your hormones are just fucking taking you on the right of your life, I think it'll just save you a lot of pressure that you I love that. don't need to put on yourself or Set, your yeah. baby. Yeah. Because or babies snorks, like – yeah. Yes, but I think I think I do think it's just different for the mother. The mother, yeah. Um, and that's not to take anything away from the father. No, but it, there are stuff that happens in our bodies that they don't experience. Yes, when, when they're like – I don't know, just the emotional change of postpartum yeah. is just like so wild on its own. Don't expect anything of yourself. Don't expect yourself to – Eat three healthy meals a day. If you get one meal in a day, you might. You might only get one meal in a day. We'll try again tomorrow. I love that. Or if you get three shit meals in a day, it's fine. You ate today. Yeah. That's perfect. Because then I feel like it takes a feeling of I'm a letdown. Yeah. I'm a disappointment. I'm a bad mum. Yeah. I can't care for my child type thing. Yeah. And I just felt like especially as a newborn – um, they don't know how to nap. They need naps, but they don't know how. They have to learn to nap, which yeah. is a huge undertaking for you, for both of you as parents. Yep. Um, sometimes it would, I would do everything that I could and it would take me an hour and I would get him down after an hour and he'd have a nap after an hour. And that was a fucking win for me because mm. I got him down. But if I had gone in there hoping that he would go to sleep and I could do it in 20 minutes in another time, yeah. whatever the time is, and it doesn't happen and now, dang it, now I don't get to do this or now I don't get to do that. Just take that pressure off yourself. Yeah. No, I love that. And I think that's something that I'm definitely going to remember because it, it, I think it, it just helps because not only is the baby learning, yes, learning everything for the first time, where so I'm you. learning everything for the yeah. first time as well. Yeah. So I think taking that pressure it's off yourself. It's all a guessing game at yeah. first. That's perfect advice, I think. I love that. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> Killer Cass coming mm. in with those oh, questions, mate. One, yeah. You both commented that some of the plans for your title reign fell through. What were those? Oh, the story with the Bellas? Yeah. Well, Which we, we had – find out. Yeah, we had heard through the grapevine or yeah. were we told? Um, I think they told us. Oh, they I think told was, us. I think you're right. The Bellas told us. Yeah. yeah they DM'd us. After. Did they? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I mean, know. I still have that DM. I can probably go <laughs> look at it. I can't remember what, how the information got back to us. Yeah. But it was later. Like it wasn't like right after we won them. This was like. Yeah. No, we definitely didn't know when we won them. Yeah. Apparently it was supposed to, we won the titles at WrestleMania and we were supposed to go into this story with the Bellas. Up until SummerSlam. It was supposed to be a long feud until which SummerSlam. would have 
probably changed the trajectory of our careers. And that's 100%. That's no one's fault. Everything yeah. happens for a reason. But um, what? why did it not happen? Um, I think Nikki came out and said that she, like, she was, wasn't cleared. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's. I'm not familiar. sure what uh, what it was in particular, but I yeah, think. Some sort of yeah, in neck or I'm not back sh- or, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just guessing here. I can't remember. It was so long ago. And we didn't really have all the information back then, but no. it was just, I don't think she was cleared to come back. Yeah. Um, and wrestle, you know, full time for four months. That's, yeah. a, that's a lot. So yeah. um, I just don't think that that unfortunately could happen. Yeah. Um, which. Like you said, I always think about that. I'm like, fuck, that really would have changed our careers yeah. for drastically. But it didn't happen and yep. it is what it is. Yep. Um, that would have been a big bucket list. I know. Tick off ours. I mean, just because, um, you know, they're, they're a women's tag team that we looked up to yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. definitely would have been fun too. I think we could have had some a lot of fun we would have segments had so with them. so much fun. And promos. But alas, it did not work out. <laughs> Oh, my little latte is just snuggled up. Oh, Hi, she. <laughs> Kelly Morse asks, thoughts on the new wave of Aussie wrestlers within WWE? Are there any more on the fringe? <laughs> the fringe. I mean, I'm happy for everyone who is able to get out of Australia and pursue their dreams here. Yeah. Or wherever that may be. There are a lot of them. <laughs> there are a lot, yeah. It, uh, and even not just in WWE. You know, we've got um, Aussies in AEW. Aussie Open. Um, and, we're, you know, Robbie Eagles has come over and done a couple of Ring of Honor shows with them and stuff. And He's busy in Japan. Shazza just moved. She, oh, not just, but she moved here, you know, a little bit ago. Um, yeah, there's Aussies all over the wrestling industry in America. It's yeah. pretty cool to see. I'm happy for them because obviously we know how hard it is to get out of Australia yeah. and get in here. It takes a lot, guys. I, th- I don't think people realise how hard it is for an international – person to not only move their whole life completely to another country um, and not be around family, but also like the immigration aspect of it. If if you don't get hired by a big company that can help out with that, it's tough and it's expensive. So very, (laughs) it costs a lot of money. Yeah. Good for them. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. (laughs) This is from G Dunk 109. Hey G Dunk. (laughs) I'm coming up one year married. What is your best marriage advice? The like big C, <laughs> communication. That's always been my advice. It just applies to everything. Yeah, it, it literally really does. applies to everything. I think people get scared to communicate for whatever reason. Yeah, which is baffling to me just because I've always been an over-communicator. Yeah. So I sometimes have to think that, no, some people don't feel comfortable or yeah. they don't like, but I think that comes down to the relationship. They either don't feel comfortable to speak up yeah. or they don't feel supported yes. or they don't feel like they have their trust yes. or some, something yes. isn't out of whack, but yeah. yeah, it just applies to everything. Yeah. Is there anything that you think to add on to that? Um, I mean, I think that is like first and foremost, but I also think, um, I mean, it, and this goes on for, Pretend, hopefully, like, you know, you only want to be married the one time. Yeah. I think the whole time you need to keep trying to win each other over. Yeah. Like you still need to try for each other. Yes. Like you still need to like go on date night. You still need, like, you still need to flirt. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like look good for each other kind of thing. Yeah. Sometimes I feel so bad for Ronnie because I look in the mirror and I'm like, man, I have looked like this for weeks now. <laughs> And I'm just, you know, got my hair thrown up. Oftentimes I don't do my hair anymore. Like, this is nice, you know? Well, yeah, I don't, we don't do makeup anymore. This no, is, never. <laughs> never do crazy. makeup. My hair's frizzy, thrown oh up. It's, I've got these gosh. things coming out the sides here. Um, you know, I shower every day, brush my teeth. <laughs> I do all the hygienic stuff, but I'm just in like uh, this fucking and, my yeah. leggings and just some random oh. top and I recycle the same five tops every <laughs> fucking five days. <laughs> and I feel bad for him sometimes. I feel like they like that look though. Not not every day of your life. Wait, Snooks, do you what do you like? You like a balance? You What's think, your thoughts on that? She doesn't care. No. Nah. When I come home, well, sorry, when he comes home from 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 stuff, and he's and he comes home, I'm in his clothes, and because I'm pregnant now, oh, I lived in Ronnie's clothes when I was pregnant. His uh, gym shorts, I have them yanked all the way up high. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I've got a crop top, and guys, my boobs have fucking doubled in size. Huge. They've they're What's that JessieMcKay.com? Did it? Hey, subscribe <laughs> to Brand on Me. Um, and I've got a crop top on. The nipples are showing because nothing fits. And I've got my hair up in a bun and he comes in and I waddle over. And I'm like, hi, babe. And like, <laughs> it, But do you think those moments where 
Like the, they're like sweet moments, right? When you come, I feel like Ronnie has those times where he probably I looks at you and is like, I need to wife. ask him because recently mm-hmm. I've been thinking to myself, I feel bad for him that I look like this. No. I need to ask him like, do I need to try harder? <laughs> so I haven't been trying. <laughs> and, you know, but that's the thing. If you like fall into like, you know, just your routine and you, and you know, I haven't been trying for, I don't know how long, now, probably six, seven months since Austin was born. Yeah. So how long do I continue to not try? And then eventually you get to a point where it's like, we haven't been trying for each other for fucking years now. And now we're in this like big slump. And, yeah, slump, and that's what you don't and, want to be in. So if yeah. you just always try, yeah. you don't get to the slump. Yeah. And I think trying can not just be physical, but also like like Snoog's just your relationship. Snoog's cooked me pasta mm. last night. Yes, like that's him cooking dinner. That's a that's yes. that's trying. Yes, you saying let's go on a let's go to a movie. Let's go see a movie together. Yeah, you know, you, been, quality oh, time is my love language. Yeah, it's just time. What's go to your the beach. love language? Um, acts of service. Yeah. yeah, that was mine leading up to the wedding. Interesting. Yeah, okay. and now it's quality time. I feel like. And quality time too. Yeah. Acts of service and quality time are, are yeah. my top two. Um, I wonder if that will shift after baby comes. Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, your turn. Is that my turn? Yep. No, I feel like I just did. Oh, no, I said marriage, marriage advice. That's right. Yeah. That's right. This one's been That's crossed out. Side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is from Stuart Easter Taylor. Top tips for puppy. I've had mine for a few weeks, but any advice would be amazing. Puppies are <laughs> fucking hard, man. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Um, get get into that, like, basic obedience training ASAP. <laughs> yep. I think uh, we had Latte do, like, the two-week board and train. Yeah, we did that too. Which was good. She picked up some really good um, habits and training. That's expensive. Who? It Sorry. is, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> darling. You're wanting to you. Um, I think with that is we obviously keep up. Like I do go over things with her and she does listen. Yeah. She's looking at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and she she um, is really good with commands, but, I mean, in the puppy stage, she hated me. She did, I remember. You had scratches all, all over you. And I was on TV then and the spray yeah. tan. It looked awful. Um, Snooks came home one day and I'm hiked up on our kitchen bench because she was ch- – trying to bite my feet and scratch me and terrorizing me. <laughs> he came home <laughs> and I'm in tears and I said, she hates me. I don't know what to do. And it was tough because I was home with her and she yeah. wouldn't listen, chew everything. Yeah. So, yeah. And puppies are hard work. And it's like for two years, I'm sorry, like the I'm puppy sorry. stage. Like it's a long time. No, it is. Yeah, the puppy stage, yeah. So just train and try yeah, and I think that's the biggest the thing. thing. Right? You have to give them some sort of structure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Otherwise they're just – like you said, terrorize. And crate train. Crate train is yep. is big. Okay. We have a couple left. This one, please. This one. Ek, this is from X X A plays 2K. Nice. Zay plays 2K. X A Y plays 2K. Are kangaroos in Australia just like deers in America? Run and jump out of in front of cars and the road. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Um, they certainly do jump out on the road. Yeah, I think deer are different. Yeah, right? I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't. I think don't know how to compare them. Kangaroos will cross the road. I I don't think kangaroos will come at the car. I think deer come at the car. Right? Isn't there one that they're like drawn to the light or something? Hey, same. I think kangaroos yeah. do too. I mean, if you hit a kangaroo, your car would be fucked. Yeah, well, it'll be a write off. Staunch motherfuckers. Staunch motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love that word, staunch. Very I good. guess it just depends on the type of deer. I know some of them are like with the antlers and shit. Like they can. Like the reindeer. Like the reindeer. <laughs> Mess you up, mate. I don't know much about deer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I can't contribute to that. Last one for you, mate. Huh? I said save the last one for hey, you. <laughs> sweetheart. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Oop. What, what, do we need to fucking wrap them up so <laughs> tightly? Yes, gosh. gosh. <laughs> Just a little oh once gosh. over. Perfect. <laughs> Unwrapping a damn gift. This is from Hammer underscore J. What do you miss most about being home? <clears throat> Quality time. Yes, right. <laughs> With the family and eating the fucking good KFC and Red Rooster. I will say, obviously family is a big one. Yeah. I will say when Katie, my friend, when she came to um, 
Australia for that trip, I was very excited to see her perspective. Sure. She's obviously grown up in America. Yeah. I wanted to see if she could taste the difference between the food mm-hmm. and the drinks and the coffee and the water and everything. And every meal that we had, she was stunned. <laughs> she was like, I cannot believe everything tastes this good here. Yeah. It's so different from America. Well, I said, yeah. food standards are very high in Australia. I said, we don't put shit in our food. No. It's like crap that's banned. I know. And then it's it's, it's tough to kind of like figure like, out. Like I don't think they sell um, fruit, fruit. No, we have Fruit Loops. What am I thinking of? Um, is there like an American version no, of there Fruit is, Loops? There is Apple Jacks, something like that. I don't know. Never All their cereals are different. They are. They added sugar and they have yeah. stuff. on It's just different. And even the coffee, like we get back and she's like, where can I get Australian beans from? And I was like, you got to fucking buy it from Important, Australia. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's everything just tastes differently. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting. I, I, I actually had this conversation with uh, Miss Danielle, a.k.a. Samore. Okay. Just on Instagram. She travelled to, I think, Croatia and Europe and everything. Was she the one who said about the GMOs? She did. She yeah, said, I did um, see this. She said, I ate whatever I wanted and I yeah. lost weight. The yeah. food was so different. And I said, that's like Australia. Yeah. It's like, it's wild how yeah. you go around the world. Yeah. How stuff tastes different. Standards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last, last question. One. Drum roll, please. This is from the Troy Gonzalez. Where do you see yourself in five years? Love you both. Thank you. <laughs> five years. Five okay. years. I'll be thirty-five. I don't know. Maybe with another kid. Oof, Thirty-nine. <laughs> Hoping to be acting, yeah, but you fine. just don't know. I will say in five years, I'd still like to be chasing our dreams. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Um, and be, and have a career in whatever. Yeah, for you sure. To. I need to be creatively yeah. fulfilled. Build. And yeah, two two kids, two kids. Hopefully, yeah, lovely. And that wraps up the episode, Pork Chops. Thank you for joining us on this edition of You Ask the Questions, We Give You the Answers. <laughs> As always, we love and, and appreciate, appreciate you. Take care, Pork Chops. Don't forget to follow us on the socials at Off Her Chops, at Cassie Lee, at Jessica McKay, and don't forget to slay your day. day.